right. We have completed the six square knots at the top. Now I have left a gap of approximately three centimeters or an inch. I know an inch is two and a half centimeters, but I've left that sort of gap. Okay. I have put two cords to one side and I've done a row now of alternating square knots. So using the first four chords, one, two, three, four, I've made a square knot. And that sits now in the center of the square knots above. So I've gone across and done one, two, three, four, five. So I've got two as I skipped at the beginning and two I've skipped at the other side. We're now gonna go back and do a full row of five square knots. Is it five or six? Sorry two, four, five, six square knots, straight the way across. And we're going to leave the same sort of gap. Now you've got your top gap for an idea. So we form our first square knot. Okay. And this also will show you how to make the gap that we made previously that I didn't video. I forgot to turn the camera on. Okay, so that, very similar to that, that's fine. I'm happy with that. It's a shopping bag. You're going to end up with gaps. And that's what we want. We want gaps in it. Because we didn't use chords one and chords two in the last row, we skipped them. That's why we get this nice long gap. I quite like it. It's a bit like vinegary work. Right, I'm happy with that top bar being there. Let's finish this square knot. This is always the most difficult, this one. Okay, so that's one. So when we get to the next one, again, the next four chords, and just make sure they're flat. Okay, and under we go. So that's about the same height, roughly. If you wish to use a ruler, as I said earlier, you can. But I'm happy with them. I threatened my husband I was making a string vest. So if you complete that and do the six square knots right to the end of the row. Right, now I've completed the six square knots going across. We want to repeat that whole pattern, what we've done so far on the other side. So in Rolf Harris style, here's one I completed earlier. Okay. So it's looking roughly the same then, it might be a bit shorter, but. So you need to do exactly the same, replicate it. Don't worry if like mine, it's just slightly shorter. That will be amended. Okay, so make your knot, lark's head knot, and then it will be your three rows of square knots. And we'll carry on in a moment. Right, now we're going to start joining the two sides of the bag together. I've moved to my clothes rail for doing this. Now I have placed the two sides on top of each other, but I've made sure that the last head knot bumps are both facing each other on the inside. This in effect is going to be the inside of the bag because we'll be turning it inside out her later. So we're going to start, let me lower that a little bit for you. We're going to start by again doing alternate square knots, but this time we're going to be going all the way round. So take a square knot from above, take the two right hand cords, I'm working anti-clockwise, okay left to right, and the two cords of the next 
square knot above. And again, make another square knot. Probably the same gap is there. This isn't, once you get one of these done, it's not a problem. So there's one. Okay. And then we'll carry on round. We're going to be aiming for approximately 10 rows in total. You've already done three, and we are actually on row four now, just in case you're beginning to think, oh, I'm going to be here for hours. No, you won't be here for hours, and I can guarantee you that. So, get the idea, going around. They're roughly the same height. So we'll just carry on all the way round. And I'll be back with you when I finish this side. So I've done the square knots just along this side. Now we're going to join two sides. And to do this is just simply carrying on the square knot. But this time you'll be using the two hanging down cords on the left side and obviously the two from the right. So some are coming from the front, some are coming from the back. Just get it even with that. Um, but make sure the cords are straight. Okay. So high. How's that? Yes. He was trying to sneak in as well. Okay. Now that cord there. I'm now going to turn this around for you. And turn the whole thing around. I like these things. And we can see, I'm going to be back on there, sorry. We can see where we've just done that side cord to join our bag. But also it gives a sky point for the next four knots. Bit low. So it might not be totally even with this side at the back. It's not too bad, too bad actually. It's not bad, isn't it? So we'll just carry on and we'll finish that row until we reach the end here. It will all be hanging lovely. So carry on with the square knots and leave the last four on this row. So we're at the last four cords on this row. And this is where we're going to join the other side of the bag. So again, just make sure that all the cords are even. And do another square knot. Line it up with that one. Oh, oh, these don't stress. Don't let them twist. Okay. A bit high. That's, that's about right. And that's another row finish now. This now makes it easier because your bag is actually circular. So now for the next row, we're going to leave another gap. And again, we're going to do the alternate square knot. So start where you like, but make sure you're taking two cords of the left from one square knot and two cords to the right of the next square knot. And we're going to keep going round. Again, do another whole row, turning it. This is, you can adapt the pattern if you want to make your gap smaller. Make your gap smaller. But as I said, we're aiming in total. Yes, that's joining that. We've got a nice little triangle. We're aiming for 10 rows of square knots in total. And we're just starting row five at the moment. The hardest part is getting the square knots done if you've not done them before. And then afterwards, it is simple. It will. Like you can see, I'm just flowing through them. It took me a while to learn, so I'm sure they're even, and work round. 
and then keep on the rows going down, working round. Right, I've now got nine rows of alternating square knots done. Now when I said aim for ten, your tenth row is going to be an alternating row, but we're not going to leave a gap. Row 10 is going to be a tight square knot. There we are. Like it was at the beginning. Because we're aiming here when on the finishing hurdle now. So we want a row of tight square knots. And these should work out even to so no gaps between this row and the previous row. If you haven't got enough cord left to do this row, you're going to have to undo a row because we also need some cord for tying on the inside. So just carry on with this all the way round and then we will proceed to the next step, the final making up of your bag. <laughs> 